I uh, thought I'd um, use a visual experiment to uh, demonstrate uh, indoor air quality issues and ventilation. And uh, I, I can't think of a better way of doing a fluid flow experiment than using interesting fluids. So I have a, I have a white wine here and I'm going to pour a little bit of this white wine into this wine glass and I'm going to put a bottle of red wine. I'm going to pour a little bit of red wine into the wine glass and they have the same quantity. And let's, let's assume that this glass represents a volume of clean air and this glass represents a volume of dirty air and I want to show you the effect of one air change per hour. Is this clean? Well, well no, let's, <laughs> let's keep diluting it with clean air. Um, it's pretty pathetic, isn't it? Um, the, the message here is that um, any powerful contaminant cannot be diluted effectively by air change. Um, dilution is not the solution to indoor pollution. The best way to deal with indoor contaminants is to not have them in the indoors in the first place. So it's really a, should be based on appropriate materials, um, appropriate pressure control, um, dealing with contaminants where they're generated, such as at cooking surfaces, um, and, and, and dryers and, 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 and bathrooms and, 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 and whatever. Um, you're, if you don't build out of bad stuff and you don't bring bad stuff into your building, you're not going to face this problem of the ineffectiveness of dilution to deal with indoor uh, pollution. Um, I can also tell you that when you mix white wine with red wine, you do not get rosé, you just get bad wine.